Welcome to our lesson on cash flow solutions. Here we'll explore strategies for addressing cash flow surpluses and deficits. Let's dive in. Having a cash surplus might seem like a great situation for any business. However, as we discussed in our last lesson, when a company brings in more money than it needs for its regular operations, it can present its own set of challenges. The biggest challenge? Making sure we put that extra money to good use. Let's now look at two possible solutions to cash surpluses. We'll start with paying off debts. Many businesses have debts, often from borrowing to grow or expand. These debts grow with interest over time. A cash surplus offers a prime opportunity to reduce or clear these debts, lessening future expenses and ensuring better financial health during leaner times. Investing is another effective use of a cash surplus. Whether it's buying shares, real estate, or other valuable assets, investments can lead to rewards like dividends or increased asset value. By investing wisely, a company can turn its immediate surplus into long-term gains, providing a cushion during slower revenue periods. Cash deficits occur when more money leaves a business than enters it. To address this, a business can either boost income or reduce expenses. There are a number of ways to achieve this. To combat a deficit, a company could look to increase its revenue. One way to earn more money is to raise prices, but this shouldn't chase customers away. Another way is to sell more. This might mean selling new things, getting customers to buy more, or using better ads to reach more people. Another approach is to review the company's expenses to identify costs that could be cut. For example, this could be by changing software the company uses for cheaper alternatives. It might also involve evaluating business processes to identify inefficiencies that might save money in staff hours. It's extremely important that we chase any outstanding debtors and receive any overdue payments. So, they should send out bills as soon as they can and remind people to pay them. This way, they can make sure they get their money quicker. Reducing the time customers have to pay their bills can also make a difference. Some businesses let their customers pay later. But waiting a long time for payment can be hard on cash. If a business shortens the wait time from 30 days to maybe 14 or 7 days, that could help. It's especially useful if some customers always pay late. A good trick to keep cash around longer is to delay payments for items you have ordered. Like, if a business gets materials and can wait 30 days to pay, they can sell things made from those materials first. This can raise revenue, which can be used to pay the suppliers once the short-term cash flow issues are dealt with. Assets that are not essential to the business can be sold to improve cash flow. This could include machinery or even property. We can also sell existing inventory as this can cost a lot to maintain, and there is always waste, so selling any excess can be a short-term solution. And finally, expanding a business, like opening new locations, requires significant investment. It might be wise to postpone such plans during cash flow challenges and revisit them when the financial situation is better. In conclusion, paying off debts will make use of cash surpluses and reduce future expenditure. Investments will also make use of cash surpluses and increase future revenue. Increasing revenue can be achieved through increasing prices or increasing sales. Cutting costs can be achieved by reducing business expenditure where costs are not necessary. Chasing debtors for money owed is important in ensuring all payments are received to improve cash flow. Reducing the credit period offered to customers will also improve the cash flow into the business and deal with short-term deficits. Delaying payments to suppliers can allow us to make sales and deal with short-term deficits, paying the supplier when these issues are resolved. Selling unused assets or inventory can raise funds in the short term to deal with deficits. And cutting back or delaying expansion plans can reduce outgoings in the short term to deal with deficits.